A Little Spot of Kindness, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. My name is Spot, and I'm not just any ordinary Spot, I'm a little spot of kindness. I've never seen a spot of kindness before. What is a spot of kindness? A spot of kindness has a sticky back. The reason my back is sticky is so I can help kindness stick to you. Whoa. I come in so many colors because the easier I can be spotted, the easier it will be to remind you to be kind. Did you know that every time you are kind, a layer of happiness is added to your heart and to the hearts of others? And since you both have the power to make good choices, you can start making the choice to be kind. I know sometimes it's hard to remember to be kind and that's why I'm here to help. All you need to do is place a spot on your hand, just like that. Now, every time you spot me, do something kind. I can't draw. This looks horrible. Don't you know that all great art starts with a scribble? I see it's working already. Great job using encouraging words when someone is feeling sad. Remember, being supportive is being kind. Can I please play with your dinosaur? Sure you can. Thank you for asking. That's wonderful that you're sharing toys. Remember, sharing is being kind. Saying hello to someone who is alone is a great way to be kind. Remember, being friendly is being kind. I'm so lonely. Hello, would you like to play? Saying please when you want something is one of the easiest ways to be kind. Remember, being polite is being kind. May I have some more water, please? Sometimes being kind can be hard, like when you break something by accident, but this is a perfect time to be kind. Remember, apologizing is being kind. My favorite pink crayon! I'm so sorry I broke your crayon. It was an accident. Do you need help? Yes, please. Thank goodness there was someone there to lend a helping hand. Remember, helping is being kind. It's always fun to make messes, but it can be hard to clean them up. Remember, cleaning up after yourself is being kind. Waiting in line can be difficult but not getting upset is a great way to be kind. Remember, being patient is being kind. Now, grab a little spot of kindness so you, too, can remember to be kind. Mark a spot on every day you were kind. Can you be kind all week? How did you show your kindness? Spot stickers and faces are available in the Spots Activity Booklet available on www.dianealber.com. A Little Spot of Organization Written and Illustrated by Diane Alber 
Hi, we are little spots of organization and it looks like you need our help. We are going to show you some ways you can be organized. We would love for you to help us. I just don't know how this room got so messy. First, let's find some containers we can put things into. Then we can start sorting them into piles of toys, games, cars, and blocks. This is overwhelming. Where do we even start? When tackling a big project like this, it's good to break it into chunks. I separated this room into sections. This way it doesn't seem so overwhelming and you can start with one section at a time. Another strategy is to play a song and before it ends, have all the items in the section picked up and put back where they belong. Everything has a spot and there is a spot for everything. Labeling color-coded bins is super helpful in sorting and finding what you are looking for quickly. To reduce clutter, it's helpful to create piles of things you want to keep, donate, or trash. I know donating toys can be hard, but you are really helping a child that doesn't have any toys. This is a really kind thing to do. After a birthday is a great time to donate toys. It gives you a chance to go through toys you have outgrown because you are now a year older. Do you remember when you were a baby and you used to play with this toy all the time? Should we give it to another baby? That's a great idea. See, when you focus on one task at a time, it makes organizing so much easier. Wow, that went really fast. Look how amazing this room looks. See, everything has a spot and there is a spot for everything. Did you know organizing actually grows your memory? It does this by training your brain to separate and categorize things. This can be used in reading. You have to keep track of many things at once while reading, like characters and plots, events, and details. Let's look at some other ways you can be organized. Creating a routine will not only help you remember to do things, like clean your room, it also helps you grow your responsibility spot and confidence spot. You can use magnets instead of drawing spots in the boxes. Make bed, take shower or bath, brush teeth, pick up toys, brush or comb your hair, turn off lights, homework. Creating a to-do list is a great way to organize what you need to achieve and it also gives you a strategy for getting things done. Writing down notes helps you remember things you might forget. Just be sure to put the notes where you can see them easily. Library books, Valentine cards, cookies for party. Now, every time you see the note, it reminds you to accomplish that task. I just love spot stickers. If you use these multicolored spots to color code a calendar, it's easier to see what each family member has going on in any given day. Anna's pink, Ryan's orange, red is holidays and birthdays. When you have to write a story, it can be challenging to come up with an idea. You can organize your thoughts 
by creating a story map. You can also use this story map to help understand a story you are reading. This can help you remember important elements of the story. Setting, characters, beginning, middle, and end. Oh no! It looks like Scribblespot needs some help organizing his emotions. If your emotions are feeling tangled, anxiety, anger, or sadness are probably nearby. The first step in organizing your emotions is to identify what emotion you are feeling so you can manage it. Look! Scribble Spot was able to identify what feeling he was having and guide it to his peaceful spot. Woohoo! All his emotions are organized now. Hopefully you were able to see how you can organize some aspects of your life from cleaning your room to managing your emotions. I can't wait to see what you can organize next. Organizing worksheets are free for download at www.dianealber.com. A Little Spot of Sadness, a story about empathy and compassion. Written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Hi, I'm a peaceful spot, and this blue spot is a sadness spot. What is a sadness spot? It looks like it needs a hug. A sadness spot can show up when someone is feeling upset, disappointed, or if they experience loss. Sadness is one of the many emotions we can experience every day. Other emotions are anxiety and anger too. We all have these emotions inside of us, but we feel the best when we are able to calm them down into a peaceful spot. Sadness, anger, anxiety. You will see both small and large spots of sadness. Having your sadness spot around is okay, but when it stays too long or becomes too big, it doesn't make you feel very good. That's why I'm here to show you how to recognize when someone's sad spot shows up and how to help them find a peaceful spot. I'll also show you how to manage your own sadness spot too. A sadness spot is unique because it is one of the few emotions that other people can help you with. That's why I want to show you how to spot it. Crying is one of the ways a sadness spot releases energy, which can help you feel better. It can also show you when a person is feeling down, so you can go and help them find their peaceful spot. It's also important to know that a sadness spot may be there even if someone is not crying, you can look at their body language too. If you see someone frowning or moping, their sadness spot is definitely nearby. This person could use a friend. Loneliness can cause your sadness spot to get bigger too. If you see someone who could use a friend, Ask them if they are okay and be there to listen. If you have experienced what they are going through, let them know they are not alone and you are there for them. You are calming their sadness spot with empathy. It can be common to see an anxiety spot with a sadness spot. 
When a new kid arrives to class, they may be worried and sad at the same time. You can help them feel more welcome by saying hello and introducing them to your friends. You are calming their sadness spot with compassion. I miss my friends. What if I don't fit in? Hello, you can hang out with me. A sadness spot can be a little sneaky, like when it shows up before you decide how to react to the problem. Sometimes it takes the help of others to see it's only a tiny problem that can easily be fixed. You are calming their sadness spot with teamwork. I lost my unicorn. I can help you find it. Is this it? You might also see a sadness spot appear when someone has lost a pet, friend, or family member. Being there to give them a hug and talk about the happy times they shared with that person or pet can help them feel the love that will always be in their heart. You are calming their sadness spot with love. Sometimes you might see a sadness spot show up when someone misses a loved one who is far away. Having a friend to have fun with can really help. You are calming their sadness spot with friendship. This is fun. Why don't you try? There are ways to calm your own sadness spot too. Some days you just feel sad and you aren't really sure why. When you feel like being alone or no one is there to comfort you, music, drawing, and writing can help relax your mind. You are calming your sadness spot with creativity. If your sadness spot won't go away, I have a trick you can try. Look at your hand. Now imagine one blue spot and one green spot on your palm, just like this. Repeat after me. Circle the spots in the middle of your palm. Count the swirls down to calm. Around and around and around twice more. One, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts. I'm so glad to see that you have learned how to calm down sadness spots. Always remember our little trick. Circle the spots in the middle of your palm. Count the swirls down to calm. Around and around and around twice more. One, then two, then three, then four. Each time you trace around the spots, take a deep breath to calm your thoughts. You can imagine your own spots or cut them out of construction paper and place them on your palm. You can also get real spot stickers in bulk on Diane Albers website www.dianealber.com A Little Thankful Spot Written and illustrated by Diane Alber Hi, my name is Spot and I'm not just any ordinary Spot I'm a Little Thankful Spot did you know that writing down all the things you are thankful for can actually make you happier? We have been making this thankful list for a while now. Wow, that is a long list. When you are thankful, you are happy with what you have and experience. You don't compare yourself to others. When you write down all that you are thankful for, it helps you focus on the positive things in your life. 
I'm going to share my list and maybe it will inspire you to create your own list. So here it goes. I am thankful for playing in the park and sliding down the slide, nature and the cool shade of a tree. I am thankful for cozy slippers, hats to keep my head warm, sandals to keep my feet cool, rain boots so I can splash in puddles, umbrellas so I can enjoy the rain without getting wet, snowmen in winter, flowers in spring. I am thankful for the nice warm sun, yummy ice pops and ice cream, the refreshing pool on a hot summer day. I am thankful for being able to show sadness so people know when to help, having confidence to try new things, feeling anger so I can become passionate about a cause or stand up for what's right, feeling anxiety to warn me if I am about to do something dangerous. I am thankful for being able to love, being able to find my peaceful spot, beautiful rainbows, the earth, planets, the moon, and stars. I am thankful for my amazing friends, parties to celebrate something special, delicious cake, colorful balloons, my big happy family. I'm a little respectful spot. I'm a little spot of kindness. I'm a little spot of responsibility. I'm a little spot of courage. I'm a little spot of patience. I'm a little spot of honesty. I am thankful for schools for providing a place to learn, play, and have fun. Teachers who show kids they can learn anything. Community helpers who keep us safe and well. I am thankful for libraries for providing a quiet place to read, books to give people a chance to go on an adventure in their mind, school supplies, reading because it's great to hear stories. I am thankful for paper airplanes because I want to see how far they can fly. Music, because I enjoy playing and listening to it. My pet fish, Tommy. Dressing up, because it's fun to pretend. Courage, to stand up and perform on stage. I am thankful for time and the ability to be patient. A cardboard box and all the creative things I can do with it. Clean water, lights so I can see when it's dark. I am thankful for crayons to scribble, paint to splatter, art and the ability to create. Scribble stones because they spread happiness when you paint them. Rocks because it's fun to stack them in a pile. I am thankful for toothbrushes so my teeth can get cleaned, nutritious food, paper to make thankful lists, tissues to help my nose when it has sniffles, signs to help us stay safe, sleep. Phew! Are you inspired yet? Now it's your turn. What are you thankful for? Do you think you can write something you are thankful for every day and make a bigger list than me? 
created this list of questions to help you too. I can't wait to see your thankful list. What are you thankful for that is red? What are you thankful for that makes you smile? What are you thankful for that is soft? What are you thankful for that is very big? What are you thankful for that is very small? What person are you thankful for? What animal are you thankful for? What toy are you thankful for? What do you think dogs are thankful for? What book are you thankful for? This thankful worksheet is free for download at www.dianealber.com. So children can be inspired to write what they are thankful for.